There are a ton of great low priced or free resources out there for SOC analysts and blue team defenders alike. But how do you really identify the gems, you know, the, the, the diamonds in the rough? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you five insider SOC analyst tools, tricks, or tips that you will definitely want to bookmark and revisit to be a more effective, impactful SOC analyst. Let's go. Very first one I want to share with you is Recon Infosec's Thursday Defensive. Now, this is modeled after Red Siege's Wednesday Offensive, if you're familiar with that. But every single Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Recon Infosec hosts an open Zoom webinar. There's no recordings, it's very, very casual, and each week they bring on a different blue team defender practitioner in the space. There have been many, many well-known practitioners who have either developed tools, built companies, dealt with major incidents, and so much more. It is an absolute gem of a session. It's 30 minutes long. It goes very fast. It's not scripted. It's definitely worth checking out and being part of that community. Number two is the Lima Charlie Slack channel. Now, you can see I'm wearing my Lima Charlie gear right here. Lima Charlie, definitely a, a wonderful company. If you're listening to this podcast, you know very well how great Lima Charlie is. But I want to call out the Intel channel on the Lima Charlie Slack. There is just a, a treasure trove of information, people posting regular thread intel in here. You see this DBT loader Remco's rat sweep Eastern Europe, new word volume the scarf right here. And you can just sign up and jump in here. There's no um, there's no uh, paywall, there's no barrier like that. Here's the differ report, 2022 year in review. A lot of great intel here, so definitely take advantage of that. The next one I'm a little partial to, Number three is 12 incredible SOC analysts interview questions and examples. So perhaps you're relatively new to the industry. Perhaps you're looking to break into being a SOC analyst and you're looking at all these resources. This video I personally made, it's for the Simply Cyber channel, and it has um, it covers 12 different interview questions that you're likely to get. It, I provide an answer for those 12 questions as well as digging into why you're being asked those questions so you can make sure that you have the right mindset going into the interview. I will tell you, I have personally been contacted by multiple people who have told me that they watched this video prior to a job interview and it helped them be more confident in the interview and absolutely slay the questions that they were being asked. So absolutely, absolutely bookmark this and share it with others. Number four on the list is Eric Capuano's So You Want to Be a SOC Analyst blog post. Now this four part blog post is written by Eric Capuano. You can see here's parts one, two, three, and four is coming. Eric has been a long-term cybersecurity defender. He works at Recon InfoSec, mentioned earlier on the Thursday defensive, and he gets asked all the time, so you want to be a SOC analyst. In this four-part blog post, he walks you through step by step how to build a small lab where you have both an attacker machine, throwing attacks, and a defender machine that is configured with an EDR solution and how in Sysmon and turned all the security off. He walks you through all of that. Then using uh, tooling, you can throw attacks from the attacker machine to the victim machine, detect those attacks using your EDR solution, and then write detection rules on how to prevent, stop, or, or just detect those type of activities from happening. That's the end of the blog post, but it basically sets you up with a perfect dish where you can now start stacking on other different detection engineering. You could do threat hunting. You can do all sorts of expansion on learning those SOC core skills. It's an absolute gem of a blog post and one that you should very much consider taking advantage of at a minimum bookmarking and sharing with people when they ask you, what should they do to become a SOC analyst? Number five, and the final one today, is Black Hills Information Security's Active Defense and Cyber Deception. Now, this is one of the um, courses that John Strand teaches himself. And if you go to the Black Hills Information Active Defense and Cyber Deception page, you could see that they actually have a three-part video series already published here with timestamps on each of them and walking you through the actual course. Now, you can also sign up for a live version of the course, which has a pay what you can model. 
and get taught live by John Strand. He does it once a quarter, four times a year. I have taken this course myself. It is an absolute excellent course. It shows you many active techniques to set up honey tokens, honey accounts, how to, um, you know, the legal ramifications of doing active defense and things to give consideration for. It is a comprehensive course taught by a master in our industry. It's an absolute gem. The final one, just as a bonus, I would love to mention the Tynes Slack channel. Definitely give that a shot. Tynes um, does integrations for kind of any type of orchestration or automation. Um, there's a lot of great content going on on the Slack channel. Um, there'll be a link below as well for that. Uh, but this this will allow you the techniques of, you know, if this, then that, kind of firing off things, allowing you to really scale up some of your uh, more manual detections or activities where, you know, if something is seen, then do this other thing. Tynes can help you with that, which is absolutely fantastic. That's going to do it for this episode. I know it's a little bit different, but I hope you got value out of these five plus one bonus resources that are absolutely aligned at helping you become a SOC analyst or level up your SOC analyst game. I'm Jerry for Simply Cyber. Consider yourself armed with knowledge.